make yourself comfortable and come listen to the story. Once there was a boy called Kay and a girl called Jerda, who were best friends. They were as close as brother and sister, and they lived next door to each other. Roses grew in the window boxes of their two houses and entwined together. In the summer, the children could sit on their balconies and talk to each other. In the winter, they played in each other's houses. One winter, when Kay was visiting Jerda and her grandmother, the children were reading their favorite book by the fireplace. Suddenly, Kay called out in pain. My heart, he cried, and my eye, two splinters of glass from an evil magician's mirror, had pierced Kay's heart and I. Now his heart was as cold as ice. From that moment on, he didn't want to play with Jerda anymore. One day, when Kay was playing on the ice, he tied his sled to that of a mysterious stranger. It turned out to be the Snow Queen, and she wouldn't let Kay go. She carried him away to her palace. Jerda couldn't understand what had happened to Kay and searched for him everywhere. In the end she left their village, determined to find him. After weeks of searching, she met a talking reindeer, who promised to take her to the Palace of Ice where the Snow Queen was keeping Kay a prisoner. Jerda had never been so cold in her life. The palace was made of ice. She ran through halls of icicles and corridors of packed snow, until she came to a vast room with a frozen lake in the middle. And on the lake sat her old playmate. Kay, cried Jerda, but he did not know her. Jerda ran across the lake, slipping and sliding. It's me, Jerda, she said. But still he did not recognize her. Jerda could not bear it. She started to cry, and her hot tears fell on Kay's chest, melting the splinter of magic glass inside his heart. Then Kay cried too, and the splinter in his eye was washed away. Now they were friends again. Kay and Jerda returned home. Jerda's grandmother was waiting for them, and the roses were in full bloom. When they looked in the mirror, Kay and Jerda saw that they had now grown up, but they still felt like children at heart. Thank you for listening to the story and see you soon.